house is. You know Carl Rove? Do you know who Carl Rove is? Okay. First day road trip, Arvada, Colorado. Right here, 10 years old, Carl Rove told his family he wanted Nixon to be president. Right here, Arvada, Colorado. It was uh, a little disappointing today. We couldn't find Carl's house, but uh, I'm, I'm psyched about tomorrow. It's going to be great. Keep hope alive. himself a dweeb in high school. This is where he learned that he didn't want to be president, he wanted to be in the background. His dream was to be the advisor to the president. This is where it all began. Also debate clubs. He would have cards and cards of debates that uh, and some claim there weren't, uh, there wasn't anything on the cards. He just had boxes and boxes of file cards to intimidate the other people. He walked here. He walked here. He walked these halls. He walked, this looks newer than he was here. He might have leaned. He went to uh, school here, 68, it was during the Vietnam War, and he was uh, Republican. He had Republican uh, uh, groups, organizations, which was very unpopular, but he was, uh, he was, uh, he was seductive enough. He, he talked people into being in these clubs. It was amazing. He is, he's incredible. Excuse me. By the time we reached Utah, Dan was determined to find someone anyone who knew who Carl Rove was. Uh, high school here. Oh, uh, yeah. Does what? it ring a bell? But... No, it doesn't. You don't know who Carl Rove is? Oh, it's amazing. You... We're from out of town. White House Senior Advisor? White House Senior Democrat Advisor. Democrat or Tanner? Republican. Do you know who Carl Rove is? No idea. It's a White House Senior Advisor. He's the White House Senior Advisor? Well, I don't know that much about him. He's local. away from Julia. She, she, she's asking me, why are you getting so upset about this? And I say, it, it's one of the reddest states in the country and nobody knows him. That is upsetting. Of course I'm going to be upset on so many fronts. She says she's lost the point of this trip. And I say, you don't have to know the point. Of, you don't have to find the point. We don't have to find the point. The point will find us. We just have to stay open to it. This trip means something. I believe in it. I just feel like this whole trip is a waste and it's a fucking disaster and and uh, that's, that's I mean, we didn't learn anything. That's not true. Oh.